Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to add interaction widgets to Survival Game Kit V2. So to get started, we're going to add the interaction widgets to this project. So I'm just going to tab over to my um, launcher here. I'm going to select Add to Project and I'm going to select my video project here. So I'm just going to hit Add to Project. Yours might take a moment to download, so just let it do its thing. And once it's finished, uh, we can jump into the project and you can see we've got our inter interaction widgets uh, folder here. So to get started, we're going to go to interaction widgets and we're going to search for interaction and we're going to open up the interaction interface. And once we're in here, we're going to right click rename the interact to uh, and we're just going to add widget to the end like that. Then we'll compile and save. Uh, you might have to compile it twice. There we go. And next we're going to go um, back to the content folder, then the survival game kit, uh, blueprints, items, um, world items and then we'll just search for master and we want to open up the static master item and once we're in here we're going to go uh, add component child actor and we're going to name this widget with a capital W um, that's important the spelling needs to be the same uh, and we're going to set the child actor class to uh, we'll search for full and we want full interaction widget add-on like that then we can compile quickly then go to class settings, uh, add, and we're going to search for interact. And we want to add the interaction interface and compile. Next, we're going to go to um, back to the content folder here. We'll get rid of this uh, search. We're going to go interaction widgets, blueprints, examples, and then to item example. And from here, we're going to copy these two uh, sections uh, down here go back to our static master item, I'm going to go to the event graph and we're just going to paste in uh, these here. Um, we do want to add in a um, is valid, so we'll drag out from widget and search for is valid and just connect this up like this. And then we can compile and save this. Next we're going to go back to showcase, then we're going to go to the survival game kit, blueprints, then add new uh, blueprints and then enumeration. We'll call this E underscore, oh, scroll down, quality. We'll open this up. Now uh, we're also going to open up, if we go to interaction widgets again, blueprints, then qualities colors. Um, we're basically going to add an entry in our um, enumerator here for each one of these rows. So junk, common, uncommon, um, and the names need to be exactly the same. So I'm going to quickly do that now. So I've just finished doing that. You can see I've added in all of the new ones uh, into our quality uh, enumerator that we just created. To add a new one, if you don't know, you just click this little new button and then you just enter the name. Um, so now that we've finished this, I strongly recommend you make a backup of your project now, um, especially if you already have a bunch of your own work in here, because um, we're gonna edit the um, item details in Survival Game Kit, and sometimes that can cause problems with the engine. So it's worth making a backup of your project now if you don't already have one. So we're going to go to survival game kit, then we're going to search for um, other and then to structs and we're going to search for item details and we'll open that up. Once we're in here we're going to click new variable. It may take a moment for the variable to pop up but we'll scroll down to the bottom and we're going to call this quality, quality like that and uh, we'll change the variable type to e underscore quality that we just created then. Um, once we've done that, what you want to do is save this. Then we'll go to showcase. We're going to hit play. This may take a while to load up because it has to compile a bunch of stuff. So it's not crashed. Just leave it alone and let it uh, compile everything. So mine's just loaded up, uh, my character's in the world, so I know that it's compiled everything, so I can exit now. Um, what I recommend doing now is doing save all, um, then save selected. Um, let it save everything in your project, then we're gonna quickly restart the project just to make sure, or make sure that the engine doesn't break our, um, our item details struct. So let it save and then just restart your project quick. So now I'm back in the project after restarting it and we're going to go to the content folder, survival game kit, blueprints, um, and then we'll go, we can just search actually, we'll just search for master item and we want to go to the static master item 
And then in here, go to interfaces, and you can see we've got some new interfaces in here. So we'll start with the title. Um, we need to tick return value. Then we're going to search for get uh, temp item. If it doesn't show up, untick context sensitivity. You'll see it there. Then we'll drag out, and I'm actually going to tick back on context sensitivity. We'll search for item details, and we'll uh, use this node. Drag out from item details and do break. And we're going to use the name as the um, widget title. I'm just going to copy these so we can save some time later. Next, we'll go to subtitle. Now, um, items in Survival Game Kit V2 don't really have a subtitle. You can, you know, maybe add a new um, uh, text variable to the items details if you want for uh, subtitles. I'm just going to set mine manually to item like that. Again, you can set whatever you like here, um, or you know, go down the route of adding um, new stuff to the item details. Um, so we'll leave that as is. Um, next, we're going to go to level. Again, there aren't really levels in Survival Game Kit V2. Um, if you if you've added them, great. You can do whatever you like here. Um, just if you do want to use it, you need to make sure you tick on return value. Um, next, we've got an amount. So we'll uh, paste back in our stuff from earlier. Going to drag out from here and do break, and we'll plug amount into the amount value and tick return. Um, next, we've got color in here. Um, we're going to use the um, variable we just added to the item details uh, to get the color. So I'm going to paste this back in, and uh, we're going to um, we'll do get row uh, get row uh, get data table row. There we go, and uh, we want to look for the um, qualities colors and uh, we'll do drag out from qualities and we want to do to string and we want uh, I believe it's union to string and then uh, we can drag and plug that into here and we'll connect this up like this and if we drag out from row out we can do break and we can connect dark color to dark and light to light like that um, and then next we want to go to, um, so there is a key bindings option here that you can use if you want. I'm not going to use it for this video, um, but if you want you can enable return value, drag out, do make. Then uh, from here you can drag out again and do make. And you can set a key bind and a um, action or the text that will be displayed on the widget. Um, but for this video I'm not going to be using this, um, so I'm going to leave this blank. Then we can compile. Next up, we're going to go back to the showcase and in the Survival Game Kits uh, folder, we're going to search for player inventory. Open that up. And once we're in here, we're going to search for the look at trace and open that. Now we're going to create a new variable and we're going to call it last uh, look at. Set the variable type to actor. Uh, this one here and then object reference then we'll just compile once we're done with that we uh, can disconnect this for now um, what we want to do is drag out and do an if node connect condition to return value over here and we're going to drag out from our client hit uh, interact hit result and we'll expand this next we want to do um, an is valid from the true pin here and we're going to do drag out from that and do get uh, last look at. Um, we're also going to drag out from that and do equals. And we'll connect the second pin up to the hit actor on our break node over here. And we'll create a new uh, if node. Connect that to is valid. Um, next, we want to get, we can copy and paste this variable actually just to save a little bit of time. But we'll drag out and do current. And we want current target message like this. And we'll drag out from point and do get SGK character. Then we, from false, we want to do another is valid. Uh, get the look at, copy and paste it over here. Then we want to drag out from it and do clear target message. Connect this up like that. Then we want to drag out from our last look at variable and do a set and connect it up like this. Uh, we also want to take this is not valid and plug that in here. 
and we're going to um, we'll connect this set node to our um, hit actor over here. Then drag out do is valid. Then we want to we can just copy these nodes over here and paste them down here. Connect that to is valid. Um, and then we want to um, drag out from false down here and do is valid. We'll get the uh, last look at again, paste that here. Then we want to drag out from it, do clear target message. And we want to do another set, uh, set look at, um, sorry, last look at uh, variable. And that should be it for that. So it should look like this once you're all finished. So once that's done, we're ready to basically, um, we need to do everything we've done in the static master item. Um, we need to do in the skeletal master item as well. So we'll start by going to the event graph um, in our static master item, and we're gonna copy these events we um, added earlier. So we'll just copy that. Then we're gonna um, go open up our skeletal master item. So you can just search for master item in the survival game kit project to uh, find that. And we'll open that up, go to the event graph and paste that in here. Um, we forgot to add the uh, widget, so that's fine. What we'll do is do add component, search for child, and we want child actor, and call it widget with a capital W, like that. And then set the child class um, to search for full, then full interact widget add-on. Uh, then we can compile. Oh, we need to, um, we can highlight these actually, delete them. Um, we'll go back to our static master item and just copy it again. But what we need to do before we paste it in is go to class settings, add, and we want to search for interact. And we want to add interaction interface, compile, and then paste those in like that. Um, we have to add the interface first, otherwise these events will uh, break. So that's important to do. Um, but now we can compile and save this. Next, we need to just quickly go through the interface uh, events again. So we'll start with the set widget title. We'll just do get temp item, untick context sensitivity, get that, drag out, do item details. You may want to uh, tick back on context sensitivity. Drag out from item details, do uh, break. Then plug name into title text and remember to tick this on. Uh, then um, same for subtitle. Again, we don't have subtitles in the kit. I'm just going to put item again um, and remember to tick that on. Um, if you don't want a subtitle, you can just leave this blank. Um, it's up to you. Then uh, same with widget uh, level. We're going to leave this blank. Um, uh, widget item amount, we'll um, paste in. Oh, no, we don't want to paste those in, sorry. Um, we'll just do get temp item and untext on un, uh, tick context sensitivity get item temp and uh, we'll do uh, tick back on context sensitivity then break and plug plug amount into the return node here and hit uh, return value next we're going to do the um, color so exactly the same as what we did before we'll do get temp item get temp item then um, do item details like that. Drag out from item details, do break, and we'll click the down arrow. Um, then we're going to do get uh, row, and we want get data table row. We'll select the data table to the um, qualities colors, and we'll drag out from qualities, do um, to string. We want enum to string. Then we'll drag and connect this up to the row name and connect these up like this. So it should look like uh, this one should done. Um, lastly, we've got the key binds again. Um, I'm not gonna set these for this video, but you can if you like. Um, and then we can compile and save this. Next, we're gonna go back to our static master item and I'm gonna quickly uh, show you how to set up details. Um, so we can open up details one and in here you can basically um, set what information is shown on the widget uh, about this item. So um, just to save some time, I'm going to go to the, um, we'll go to the title. We're just going to copy these nodes that we added earlier. 
um, and go back here. We can paste these in and basically this just allows us to um, show some information on our widget. So to do that we're going to drag out from details and do make and here you can set the icon, the title and then the actual um, statistic. Um, it doesn't have to be a number, it can be text if you like, but typically this would be like um, say the um, hunger value or first value that the item gives. Um, if you want the detail to show up, you need to make sure you tick on uh, return value. Um, you can have it so that um, if we get uh, say consumable DLs for example, um, you can have it so that if the item can be consumed you could plug this into here um, and then it will um, display this setting and if the item can't be consumed then it won't. Um, we can just take health, we'll plug that into statistic. Um, just to be clear, I'm just doing this as an example. You'll have to make up your own decisions on if you want to show any details or if um, or what details you want to show. Um, this is going to be up to you. Um, you can use these nodes here to access any information about the items and then you just plug them in into the uh, make um, settings node over here. Um, you can set up to four details for the widget. There is no way to extend this um, at the moment. Um, so this is really just an example. If you want to do it, you can. If you don't want to, then that's fine. Um, but I'm just going to set this to um, a little icon. So I will use the shield and I'm just going to set the title to health. So when we look at a, like a health item, it will tell us how much health um, that item will give us. Um, and then we can compile and save this. Just as a quick side note, um, I'm just going to do this in the static master item, but if you did want the uh, details to show up on the skeletal items as well, you would need to do the exact same thing in here. I'm just not going to do that in this video because this is just an example um, and it's exactly the same. You can just copy and paste it um, if you wanted to. So next we're going to jump to our showcase level. Um, we've set up the items to be working now with interaction widgets. What I'm going to show you to do now is how to add the um, smaller keybind widget for these chests. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the interactable blueprints because there's a lot of them and that will take a lot of time. Um, but the process I show you now with the chests, it will be exactly the same for any of these blueprints or blueprints that you add uh, yourself um, over time. So uh, we're going to get started with the chests now. So we're going to go to survival game kit. Uh, we'll get rid of this search. Uh, blueprints, um, then build parts, furniture, and we're going to open up the wood chest. And in here, we're going to add a new child actor, and we'll call this widget again with a capital W. Um, and we're going to set the um, the class. We'll search for um, key. Uh, sorry, not key. Uh, bind. No. Um, oh, basic. Sorry. We'll search for basic. We want basic interact uh, widget add-on, like that. Then we can compile and save this. Once that's done, we can jump to the viewport. And with the widget selected, we can actually move it in here. And I'm just going to move mine to sort of the front of the chest, just so it's a bit easier for us to see uh, when it's in world. Um, then we can compile and save this. Next, we're going to go to the class settings. And then in implemented interfaces, we want to do add. We'll search for interact and we want to add the interaction interface and then compile again. Next, we're actually going to go back to our static master item, then to the event graph, and we're going to copy these nodes that we uh, added before. And we'll go back to our uh, wood chest, then event graph, and we'll paste those in here, then compile. Next, we're going to go to the set widget type and we're going to change this to a keybind widget. Then we're going to go to the um, set widget keybinds down here and we're going to first get the um, input settings and we'll do an is valid from this. And then we're going to do, um, we'll search for action and we want get action mapping by name and then the uh, in action name is um, interact with a capital I. We'll drag out from here and do a get, get uh, a copy, then drag out again and do break. We'll click the little uh, down arrow for that. Then is valid, we'll plug into return um, and we'll tick the return value. Um, and then is not valid, we'll do another return. Uh, we'll search for return and we'll just leave this as is. Then we'll drag out from the keybinds down here and do make. 
and drag out again and do make again. And then key will go into key input and action text. This is going to be the text that shows up on the um, on the widget we see. You'll see it in a minute. Um, I'm just going to set mine to interact. You can set yours to whatever you like here. Um, it's completely up to you. It's just for UI purposes um, anyway. So then we can compile and uh, save this. So next we're ready to quickly test this out. So we'll hit play uh, in game and yours might take a moment to load. Don't worry, it hasn't crashed. Just let it load. Um, so we can start by looking at our container and you can see we've got our um, interact um, text coming up. Um, and if we go over to some items, you can see we've got our items uh, showing up. If we look at uh, health item, you can actually see the detail that we added earlier that I was explaining. Um, like that, we should be able to check our weapons as well and you can see they're all working. Um, if you have a black colored background instead of the gray one, um, you need to make sure that you um, didn't make a mistake in the, um, let me see here, the widget color. You might have used the wrong node here. This needs to be the enum to string node. Um, that's a common problem that people have. Um, so just make sure that's done. And then to actually change these colors, um, the background color, um, we can just go to the uh, blueprints folder in survival game kit, then go to uh, items, item list. And once you're in here, you can actually um, see at the bottom, we've got our quality. We can change this to um, a different quality. So I'll try uh, Epic. Uh, don't forget to save. Now I'll jump in. And now our pistol should be our epic color scheme there. Um, if you want to change the color schemes, that's found in the interaction widgets, blueprints. You can set the colors in here, uh, depending on the um, uh, row name. If you add a new one, say you added a new row and you named it something, you would need to also add that to the enum we created earlier. So that's in the uh, blueprints folder, the quality. You'd need to add that in here as well, um, just as a heads up. Um, for it to be able to uh, show up in the lists, uh, in the item list. Next, we're going to get started with our interactable resources over here. Now, there's a few limitations with this. So the first one being we will only have UI for interactable resources, not for the trees or the rocks, only for like the tree stump, uh, bushes. And if you've added any of your own interactable resources, they'll work fine with this as well. Um, there are some other limitations. The first one being the um, UI won't be like floating in the world like it does with the items. It will actually be attached to the screen. This is due to um, the way UE4 deals with um, foliage. Uh, we just have to do it this way. And the second limitation is that um, our UI won't be able to display how many resources a, um, a resource has. Uh, this is because the resource itself doesn't know how many resources it has until it's been picked up once. Um, and that's when it randomly picks what, what its resource count is. Um, so we're just gonna be displaying the uh, resource name and then we can set a subtitle as well of, of your choice. Um, we'll also still have the color options as well. So um, to get started, we're gonna go to the content folder, then to interaction widgets, blueprints, uh, widgets, we're going to duplicate the uh, item interaction widget and we're going to call this uh, resource interaction uh, widget and we'll open that up. So first we're going to select these detail um, panels and we're going to delete those. Then we're going to compile. We should get a few errors, that's fine. We'll jump into the event graph and we're going to delete these. We're going to do get um, controller. We want get player controller. Drag up from that and do get component by class, then get player inventory, and we'll drag out and do promote to variable, and we'll call this player inventory, like that. And we'll connect this up here. Um, next, we're going to um, just take this section of code, we'll just copy it, paste it here, and connect it up like this. We don't need any of this code anymore. Um, we'll just leave it like this and then we can compile. Next, we're going to go to the get subtitle text. Now, um, resources don't really have subtitles again, so um, I'm personally just going to do uh, this. Um, if we do this, you can set any subtitle, subtitle you want. Um, I'm just going to set mine to resource. If you want to change it, you can do so. And if you wanted to write your own code to you know, do a custom subtitle system, um, this is where you would you would do it. Um, if you want to, you can delete this code. We don't need it anymore. 
Um, next, we're gonna go to the level text. And again, um, resources don't have levels. So um, for this, I'm actually gonna um, cut this code and paste it up here. And I'm just gonna connect it up here. Again, if you wanna write your own custom level code, you can do that. Um, that's something you have to work out yourself. But this is where you would, you would input that code. Um, then we've got the amount text. Again, we, as I explained earlier, um, we can't get amounts from resources because they, they don't know what they have until a player's picked them up. Um, so for this, I'm just going to um, do this. So uh, the text will be hidden. Um, if you wanted to, you could try and add your own amount code here. Um, that would really be up to you. Um, and then we can compile this. Next, we're going to go to the showcase. And in our survival game kit, um, we'll search for master um, resource. And we'll open up the master resource here. And we're gonna um, create a new uh, variable called um, color. And we'll set this to E underscore quality. Uh, this is the variable we created earlier. And we'll compile and save this. Next, we're gonna go back to our resource uh, interaction widget here, and then go to get uh, widget color. And we're gonna disconnect this and move it up here. Um, uh, we're going to start by doing um, dragging out and doing is valid. We'll take our player inventory and connect that up to there. Then we'll drag out from player inventory and do get client interact hit result. Drag out again and break it. Then from uh, hit actor, we'll drag out and do is valid. And the same for uh, hit component. Then from hit component, we're gonna drag out and do cast to master resource component. So this one. And from there, we'll drag out and do uh, get resource. And from that, we'll drag out and do class uh, defaults. And um, the only one we need is color. So what we'll do is um, we'll move all of this uh, down here so we can plug it in. Uh, we'll delete these nodes and we'll do get row uh, data table get data table row we'll change the data table to the uh, quality colors and plugging um, sorry we'll start with color and do to string and then from this to the row name then uh, we'll plug row found into here row out we'll do uh, break dark into dark and light into light and we will plug uh, this in here. Then uh, next we can compile this. Next we're gonna uh, drag out of the cast field and sorry, we'll actually um, drag out from hit actor and we'll do cast to master uh, resource. And we'll connect this up to cast field. And then we'll uh, drag out from here and we'll search for get color. And we want this one here. Um, and then what we'll do is we're just going to copy and paste, uh, th sorry, this code here, copy, paste it down here and connect it up like this. You can spend a little bit more time sort of tidying this up, but I'm uh, just going to go through and do it quickly. So making sure we connect that up over here um, and then we can compile and save this. Next, we're going to go to the um, set uh, sorry, get title text. Actually, what we'll do is we'll go back to our get widget color and we're just going to copy this code here just to save some time and we'll paste it in up here. And I'm going to disconnect this node and bring it to here and connect it up. So from here, we're going to drag out from the hit component and do um, BP, sorry, cast to BP underscore um, master resource component and connect it up. And we'll drag out from there and do um, get resource. Then from that, we'll drag out and do cast to master interactable resource. So the top one, uh, like that. Then we'll drag out again and do get class default. Um, then we'll drag out from here and do return node. And we want the interact name to plug into the return there. Then um, back over here, we're gonna, um, sorry, we'll drag out from our hit actor and do cast to master interactable, oh, interactable resource. Connect that up to cast field. 
and then from here we can do get interact uh, name and we'll just copy this return node paste it here and connect it up like that so it should look like this once you're finished so we can compile and save this again next we're going to go into the event graph and we're going to create a new uh, custom event called update and from that we're going to get the um, we want to get the title and we want to also get the um, item title text from here oh we don't want to set sorry item title text and we want to get then we'll do set text and we want to uh, set the text and connect this up like this then we can compile and save this next we're going to go to showcase and in the survival game kit we're going to search for um, inventory hud open that up and we're going to search for in the palette over here resource and we want the um, resource interaction widget the one that we've been working in um, here you can you can resize it if you like um, and position it where you want um, I'm just gonna I'll go ahead and put it up here um, so it's not too much in the way um, and we can compile and save this next with our uh, widget selected we're going to go over to the um, details panel visibility and select bind and then do create binding and we'll start by doing get player inventory then we'll do an is valid connect that up then we want to drag out again and do get client so get client if it doesn't show up just untick context sensitivity uh, is client interact there we go interact hit result um, from that we'll drag out and do um, I'm going to retick this setting back on do break hit result like that we want to drag out from our hit component and do is valid and uh, if isn't valid for either of these we'll set this to hidden so we'll plug this in like this um, then if is valid we want to drag out from components and do cast to BP master um, master resource component like that then we'll drag out from here and do get interact interaction interaction harvesting like that drag out and do if and then uh, from false we will do return return node and we'll set this to hidden um, and then uh, we want to um, drag out from here sorry hit actor and do cast to master interactable resource plug this into the uh, cast field up here um, if false we'll uh, do return and we'll set it to hidden again and uh, from this we want to find our resource interaction widget so here we'll drop that in and we'll do uh, update and we'll plug this in like this um, and we want to, we'll just copy one of these return nodes, paste it in and we want to make sure that this is set to visible so it should look something like this once you're done next we're going to compile quickly and we'll go to the event graph and we'll do a custom event and we'll call this update resource widget like that then we'll do um, we'll get our resource interactable widget again and we'll do set visibility plug this in like that then we want to find the um, get visibility function we just created and um, plug that into here then we can compile this so now we just need to go back to our player inventory um, so I already have mine open um, then go back to the look at trace function and um, we just need to add a couple more things in here so we'll start by doing get uh, player hud if it doesn't come up just untick this option again um, if you have any problems with that just try unticking the option for some reason um, it's a little bit broken at the moment um, so once we've got that we can drag out and do is valid um, I'm gonna retick the option on then do is valid and from that again we'll drag out and do update resource widget and connect that up to is valid so once that's done we can just copy these nodes and we'll paste them down here 
and we'll just connect them up here and here. Um, then we want to co uh, copy and paste them again and uh, we're going to do the same down here as well like that. So it should look something like this once you're finished. So once that's finished we need to go back to our resource interaction widget and there's um, a small bug we have to fix in here. Um, what we'll do is select item background, um, come over here and remove the binding. Then we'll uh, clear this material and set draw as to none. Then we're going to right click it and do wrap with uh, and we want overlay. Then we're going to search for image and we're going to drag that onto the overlay we just created. Then drag the image up to the top like this, Ooh, uh, like this, sorry, uh, like that. Um, then with the image selected, we want to uh, change the alignments. Um, we're going to set the uh, material to M uh, quality and we want quality uh, gradient. Then uh, we can save and compile. Next, we're going to go uh, into the event graph, um, then to our um, get widget color. And with the function selected, we're going to untick pure like that and do a compile quick. Then once that's done, we're going to disconnect these here. Um, select the return node and just click the remove this parameter. Um, and from here, we're going to get our image that we just created. If that's not there, um, you can go back to the designer, select the image and uh, make sure is variable is ticked on. Um, then from that, we're going to do set uh, brush, connect this up like this. We're going to right click it and do split. We'll plug desired size into the brush size and then um, this pin into uh, image and connect it up like this. Then we're going to um, copy our image uh, node here and we're going to go over and um, drop it in here and we're going to drag out and do get uh, dynamic material and we'll plug this in like this. And we can delete this uh, old one there and as than the uh, background one as well. Um, make sure that you get the return pin and you plug it into this target over here as well. Um, so it should look something like this. Then we're going to jump to the event graph and drag in our get widget color and plug that in here. Then compile. So once you've done that, we're pretty much finished now. A um, few notes. Uh, if you want to change the color um, of the background for um, interactable resources, uh, their widgets, um, that can be done. Just go to the blueprints folder, then um, uh, resources and any interactable resource, so like the bush, tree, stump or berries, um, you can go to their resource, um, so like the plant fiber, you can go in here and you'll find the color option and you can set your um, color that you want to use. Um, one other thing I can show you um, is how to, um, you may want to remove the little name that's included with survival game kit that's just above the crofts um, hair. Um, if you do, um, you can do that in the inventory HUD. You can just select this widget and hit delete. Um, I, you do not want to delete the context menu. Um, this is an important part of the system and it's important to being able to um, interact with things. Um, so, But if you want to delete the item name, um, because obviously you have the interaction widgets now, um, you can uh, delete this widget here. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. Um, thank you for watching.